And here we are in the Sudaprum uh, Dex, can we tell who we got there? Yeah, that's uh, the commander. That's Rick Sturko and uh, the pilot, Colonel Lee Archambault, getting his uh, boots laced up there. Lee's uh, the pilot. He's also one of the, uh, the space station robotic arm operators. That looks like uh, Pat Forrester, the MS-1, uh, for the flight. He'll go up, uh, go uphill and uh, do the entry on the flight deck, sneak behind the pilot. Pat's a retired uh, Army colonel. And there's Clay Anderson. Clay's uh, MS-5 for the uh, ascent portion of the flight. And uh, he's going up to the space station uh, to replace uh, Sonny Williams, who's coming home uh, on this flight. Clay will come home on STS-120 in October. Looks like he's excited and ready to go, doesn't it? Clay is one of my classmates and uh, became an astronaut with me in 1998. There's uh, Jim Riley. Jim's uh, EV-1 for the flight. He'll take part in two of the spacewalks and then uh, be the uh, IV coordinator for the third spacewalk. Jim's also a Navy reservist. And at uh, one point, he was the, uh, I think he told me he was the oldest ensign in the Navy. There's uh, Danny Olivas. Uh, Danny, uh, also from the 98 astronaut class, is uh, the MS-3 for the flight. He's on two of the spacewalks with Jim Riley. And uh, I know he's excited and ready to go as well. We've been waiting a long time for this. Hooked up there. What's uh, what's connected to the helmet? Yeah, uh, Steve is uh, doing his final pressurization check. This is Steve Swanson, the MS2 for the flight, and also one of the spacewalkers. And he's doing his final uh, pressurization checks. The the suit is a pressurized suit, and we want to make sure there aren't any leaks in it. And the helmet is an integral integral part of that. And so they uh, close it up and do final pressure checks, and also make sure the communications gear works while it's pressurized. And from the time you first walk into the suit at room until your suit is on, how long of a process is that? How long does it take to get into it? Well, uh, they start the suit up process at about, uh, well, they started right at uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon, and uh, they'll be done uh, within about 30 minutes or so. And then they'll uh, spend a few minutes with the management, the astronaut management, and then they'll walk out here at about uh, 3.45. All right, so our next activity then will be to see the crew headed out for the launch pad. The uh, countdown is continuing to go well. Watching a few showers offshore, but uh, so far it uh, looks like there's nothing of concern to the uh, pad 39A area. What we have seen come on shore has been dissipating. 